top of the morning to you, laddies. This is... So, you want to be a fighter. Okay, you're recording. This is, this is, I'm way, I can't. Okay. Everyone is a fighter for something. You work with the tools and skills of the fight, practice, and become better. So, where do you start? The four things I'm going to cover are who I am, the context of the fight, fighting as a lifestyle, and safety. Those are very important things to go into detail. So, without further ado, welcome to the first fighter video. I am the fighter. I started fighting about three years ago. I worked and practiced and got better, um, but I'm still a beginner. My goal is to teach you what I know, what I've learned, and along the way introduce you to masters of the craft. So the fighter lifestyle. As a lifestyle, it's both physical and mental. Um, it's important to take care of your body and your mind because um, they are your vehicle. Um, if the vehicle's crappy and it breaks down, you're not gonna make as much progress as a well-kept vehicle. You can be a fighter in anything. It depends on the context of the fight, um, whether that's fighter in boxing, fighter in Muay Thai, Tai Chi, um, Kendo, um, even if you're fighting in a, a LARP buffer, the context matters because you play with different sets of rules and the goal is different in each. Some is, you know, knock your opponent unconscious and others it's, you know, make sure you hit all their armor points down. It's important to know the difference. The context I'm going to be talking about is the SCA or Society for Creative Anachronisms. And we'll get to that more later. Also part of the fighting context is making sure that you're learning from everyone and everything. Um, a good example is uh, there are a lot of aspects in boxing that you can take over to SCA fighting. They're very relatable and they help you improve and get better. And the final point is to make sure that you're enjoying the journey and having fun. Uh, if you're not really having fun, it kind of peters out well, actually, it's self-explanatory, so just cut all that. Just... <sighs> the final point is have fun and enjoy the journey. A good example is one of my own personal goals is to weave through the battlefield slaying hundreds in my wake. Whether it's achievable or not, it's my goal and it's pushed me to become a better fighter faster than if I had chosen a different goal. Choose a goal that fits you. Now, for the context of the fight, the SCA. As I spoke before, it's the Society for Creative Anachronisms. And as a disclaimer, I don't personally speak for them or represent for them. This is just me and my experiences. So take everything with a grain of salt and um, go check out their website. It'll be down in uh, the information bar. Or go talk to the bard. He'll get you the information down in the information bar. God. The SCA is Think Renaissance Fair but it's much more active year round and it's a group that's very jovial and they just enjoy helping each other and it's such a welcoming and fun community. Everyone is so eager to help each other learn and get better because especially in the fighter community, the better you become, the better everyone else has to become to beat you. And so it's just this endless arms race of helping each other get better. So that way everyone's overall standard of the good fighter gets better. The SCA is a actual historical nonprofit organization um, that operates globally uh, from all the way from Germany, Korea, China, Japan, even here in the US, all over. Um, there's groups and kingdoms throughout. That would be a good spot to say why you're in Japanese stuff. And even though the SCA originally started and based itself off of European, uh, they've over the years branched out 
because they started in the 50s. The SA started in the 50s, and ever since they've grown and branched out from just medieval Europe to encompass everything from Mongolia, China, Japan, hence my persona of the Japanese. Um, but for more information and whatnot, go talk to the bard at the bar, um, grab a drink while you're there, tell him the fighter sent you, and he'll give you more information on what the S and you can go to the website and read more detailed information on uh, what your interests are of the SCA. Go on over to the bar, the Bard's Bar, <laughs> ask for it, just let them know I sent you. More information, SCA. Cool people, go! God! Uh, I don't care if I talk in circles. As long as I get all the information there. Enjoy piecing it together, Gary. I'm sorry for the nightmare that is this. How how long have I been talking? Uh, yeah. Last but not least, safety. Safety is important because we all want to live very long lives and continue to fight and not kill each other, despite what fighting actually is supposed to be about. First and foremost, disclaimer, uh, if you are 18 and under, um, you should have parental supervision or an okay. We do have uh, fighting for kids under the age of 18. Uh, you can fight in, there's more specifics in the website, but generally 16 to 18 and older, you can fight in the heavy armor. Um, ages eight through 16, uh, it's usually buffer. Um, just to kind of teach you the basics, mechanics, and techniques. I'm not responsible uh, for your safety. You are responsible for your own safety. Uh, use common sense. And if you're unsure, ask questions. More than happy to answer anything, any questions you have down in the comments. If I don't know something, I will for sure know someone who can help you. The first point is technique. Technique is very, very important because without technique, you can hurt yourself or others. Technique also helps you be more efficient, um, waste less energy, and just overall be a better, um, smooth fighter. Next point is you want to make sure you have good equipment, um, whether that's a Pell um, for practicing, you want to make sure you have uh, good armor, either as budget allows, get better equipment or as time progresses, just kind of gradually work your way. Uh, with cruddy equipment uh, comes more accident prone behavior. The third and final point is spacing. You wanna make sure you have ample space. There's no breakables around, whether you're indoors, outside. Uh, make sure people are far enough away that you're not gonna hit each other. Um, not yet anyway. <laughs> Uh, that's later, that comes later. Make sure you're at least six feet away. The times. Uh, make sure you can wave your arms around and have good spacing. I'm being redundant and going over things again because my brain is flatlining. Uh, also for equipment, make sure you um, have ample protection. Uh, the specifics for the SCA armor uh, that is required is in all on the website or you can uh, if you get in contact with your local group uh, they will happily answer questions on what kind of specifics you need for armor um, for you uh, in general you want to make sure you're protecting joints your head your neck uh, your kidneys uh, groin protection um, and so on and so forth uh, go check that out for very specifics but that was just a general overview to conclude Make sure you take care of yourself, have fun, and remember to um, slowly build up your equipment as time and budget allows. Um, there's no need to go all in all at once. And uh, take care, see you at the next camp. This is why I don't do acting. <laughs> Are you still recording? <laughs>